In this video, I'll be showing you a program called Frescobaldi, which is an editing environment for Lily Pond. I find that it really helps to speed up my workflow, and I highly recommend it, especially for those who are transitioning from a graphical score editor like Sibelius or Finale. So just like Lily Pond, Frescobaldi is free, open source, and cross-platform. Some of the features include syntax highlighting, automatic command completion, template creation, snippets and shortcuts, a preview window so you can quickly see your edits and check out how your score looks as you input, and a tabbed interface, meaning you're able to have multiple score files open at the same time. To install Frescobaldi, open up a web browser and go to frescobaldi.org and click on this download link here and the Google Code Project page. And here's a list of all the installers. Most of you are probably on Windows, so you're going to want this file right here. It's a pretty straightforward install. You shouldn't have any issues. And I do recommend checking this box here. So this means um, every time you double click on uh, LY file, it will open in Frescobaldi by default. So that's just a, a handy little shortcut. Once it finishes, launch Frescobaldi and it should look something like this. Now I'll show you a few of the preferences that I like to configure. So come up here, go to Edit Preferences. In this first tab, this is the General Preferences. I like to check this box here. This will allow a tabbed interface. Um, if you don't check this box, every time you open up a file, it will open up in a different, separate instance of the program. Now you can also specify a default directory where you'd like to save your documents, right here. If you come down here to Lily Pond Preferences, this is where you have to tell Frescobaldi what version of the program you have installed. Now, just to walk you through this, if you hit the Add button, and click this Browse button. You can browse your computer to where you installed Lily Pond. So for me, it's C Drive, Program Files, Lily Pond, User, Bin, and then scroll all the way over here until you see lilypondwindows.exe and hit open. Hit OK. And now you'll see it right here in the box. You want to set as default. And before you hit apply, I like to check the run with English messages um, option. So this will take a moment. This will configure Frescobaldi to work with the current version you have installed. When it's finished, let's go down to the fonts and colors. Here you can basically customize any color or style of the program that you want. I don't change too much here. However, I don't like the default console font. Um, I personally prefer uh, Verdana and maybe a little bit bigger, maybe 12. That's just my preference, but you can change whatever you want here. And if you make a lot of changes, you can save everything as a scheme and you can call it up later and have different schemes if you'd like. And under the tools menu, um, the only thing that I change usually here 
depending on the score, is the uh, magnifier size. This changes the amount of magnification, um, which I'll show you in a later video. But uh, just remember that this option is right here under Tools. So let's hit OK. And this is basically the default interface for Frescobaldi. Now let's work on a new score. Let's add our version statement first. And let's add some braces to enclose our pitches in. And let's do a simple example, just like we did in the previous video. Now to engrave your score, you can either use the keyboard shortcut Control M or come up here and hit this icon right here. This will engrave your score. You'll notice that the log is um, in this bottom section here, which is very handy to have. Um, I always keep this open no matter what score I'm working on because I always want to make sure I have no errors. And here you go. So as you can see, um, you always have a preview of what your score looks like. Um, depending on how big your window size is, this may or may not be um, adequate you know, to see. Uh, if you want to zoom in, you can either use these buttons up here or this uh, drop-down menu. But I like to use the control and the mouse wheel just to scroll. And then you can click and drag to reposition this. Like that. So this is a basic walkthrough of setting up Frescobaldi and getting it to work with... Um, Lily Pond. So in the next video, we're going to start looking at the commands and the syntax of Lily Pond. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.